Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame, and welcome back to Aozuri MechQ. Last episode, we um, did another thing with Sora, but then she, we woke up alone in our bed, nowhere to be found. And she raised the question that she's a Shinigami, or asked him, what would you do if I was a Shinigami? This episode, we will find out why, and let's hope this is the last. She was nowhere to be found. Did she really leave me? Wait, maybe she just went to the convenience store. I put my shoes on and left the house to search for her. <sighs> I asked an employee about Sora, but he hadn't seen her. My next stop was the shopping street. Sora! Only, oh fuck, I didn't even read it. Oh, thank God. Only a few people were here, but I couldn't find Sora. Damn it! She didn't leave me, right? She's hiding somewhere. Laughing as I panic, right? Right? Maybe the park? It's unlikely, but as long as there's a small chance. I stepped onto the street and... Whoa! I almost got hit by a small truck. I jumped out of the way at the last second. Hey, are you blind, asshole? Fuck, I didn't have time for that. I needed to find Sora, maybe the park. Sora, Sora, please answer me, Sora. I ran through the park several times, but I couldn't find her. Sora, don't hide anymore, please. Did she really leave me? Why? I heard a strange crack and turned around as, what the, tree fell down and almost hit me. Fuck, first at the truck and now a tree? This is a nightmare. I should go home and hole up in my room. It started to rain on the way back. Maybe Sora came back because of the rain. It was already evening, but I didn't care. I was just sitting around staring at the ceiling. What's this feeling? I think they call it depression. I don't know if it's really, it's, I guess like it could be classified as a, a depression. Most definitely not like a reoccurring one, but like he definitely will get depressed because his um, otherworldly girlfriend just left him. I don't understand why she left me. Why does everyone leave me? I'm all alone forever. It was a mistake to fall in love again. Ha ha ha, I did the same mistake again and this time it's even worse. Right, there's only one thing left. I went to the kitchen to search for sharp knife. Of course, I had no intention of making dinner. Found it. Should I really do it? I, I can't, not because of this love bullshit. I put the knife back and dropped on the floor. Ugh, what should I do? Sora, why are you still here? Huh, Sora, you're back. I wanted to hug her, but something was off. What's wrong? You look strange. You do not belong in this world anymore. Huh? Wait, is that the knife I had before? She was holding the knife I had to put down, pointing it at me. I didn't understand what was going on. Do not worry, it will not hurt. What? She stabbed me. My girlfriend stabbed me. The truck, the tree, if you had not avoided them, this would have been easier. You, you did that? Yes, there was no other way to force you to leave this world. I had no idea what she was talking about. I just know that she stabbed me. I didn't feel any pain and there wasn't any blood. Say, I'm already dead, aren't I? So you finally noticed? I'm not sure how to react to my own death. How long? Do not worry, it will be over soon. My feet started to glow and my body slowly disappeared. Wait, what will happen to us? I don't want to lose you. I'm so sorry, there is no other way. I really love you, please believe me. The wheel of rebirth is the only way our happiness can continue. No, I vanished into thin air, everything was over. This was the end. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait. That anime got super, super dark, so incredibly quick. Wait, so Azora was a was a Shinigami, and I was supposed to die from the truck or the tree. So that's what that what was supposed. I can't even talk right now. It just went some like super cutesy. Let's screw every let's screw every day to like I'm gonna die, and she took my life and stabbed me in the end. What the actual fuck? kind of game is this? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, I never got to this part.
Oh, shit. I guess I had to play it to a certain extent, but... Oh, man. What a, what a game, boys and girls. What a freaking game. I'm just, like, slightly blown away as to why this happens. Honestly, I just don't understand, like... This game was so weird. But, you know, I had a fun time playing it. I enjoyed... I like these type of dating sims. I'm definitely gonna be playing more dating sims later on because sometimes they're just wacky as hell like this. And I'm just, like, blown away by the art style, the music, and, like, the storylines that can happen. I know that you can do multiple storylines in this one, but that was my storyline that I chose. I chose to be a horn dog, and I did not want to read any of the other stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. I had a pleasure playing this game for you guys, and I cannot wait to make more videos for you. Thank you so much. You have a fabulous day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.